Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, this is part two um, of my Facebook members share their big money, unexpected Bolo items. These are items to be on the lookout for, items that hopefully you can buy low and sell for big money. Um, hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Seller. All right, let's get started. Um, I love this video series. And if you guys are not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, the links are down in the description of the video. Um, come share your Bolo item. Come share. Uh, this is posted in the announcements once a month. We're going to get started. I've got 30 bolos coming your way. I'm going to read their comment with the information and then I'm going to pop up the screen share so you guys can actually see the item. And this is a great way to learn you guys. So, um, yeah. All right, let's get started. Bought three of these on Facebook marketplace paid about $20 each. Okay. You guys, these are the MGA Bratz boys dolls. Now I have sold some of these in the past. I don't think mine went for $75. So you definitely need to use that barcode and look them up. If there's not a barcode, um, you can use Google Lens to try to identify it and search by keywords, okay? Uh, but the Bratz boys and some of the Bratz girls can definitely be bolos, so it is something that I do recommend looking up. So yeah, um, sold for 75 bucks, and this one is Rodeo Wayne. The next one paid $3 at a local Goodwill sold in less than one week for $65. I don't know about this one, so I'm excited to share this. It is a Jujube Takadaki <laughs> Kaju. And I probably said that all wrong. That's why I'm laughing because I can't pronounce anything. And it's so funny that I get these crazy like words that I just can't figure it out. All right. So this is a super, super B diaper tote. I don't know. Never heard of it. This is what it looks like. So be on the lookout. All right, the next item, found at a... Okay, the next one. Found in my garage for free, listed on eBay, and someone messaged me on Instagram that stalked my profile from eBay. Needless to say, they bought it cash in person for $340. So it must be somebody who follows his eBay account and somehow figured out his Instagram. Um, it is a vintage Marilyn Manson t-shirt it's a vintage tee so this is what it looks like and you guys vintage tees single stitch especially concert tees big money some of them some of them look them up um let's see bought at an amazon return store called binge bins for ten dollars um caught oh canada i thought it said i was I thought it was cost of goods, but CAD wouldn't be cost of goods. Canada. Um, or around 810 USD. Sold very quick. Love buying fishing stuff. So it is a pen fathom. I think I'm saying that right. Two uh, level wind. I don't know. It's a fishing one of those things. Real, it's a real, and it sold for $200 um, in Canada. So I don't know what that equates to for USD, but very, very cool sale. Um, okay, the next one comes from one of the moderators of the group. So please definitely go over and follow her and give her a sub on her YouTube channel. It is called Be Carried Away. It is fantastic. You will not regret it. She is amazing with keywords and sells awesome stuff. She has a great eye for unique stuff. She purchased this for $8.75, including shipping, um, as I had a Posh credit. So she bought it on Poshmark from another reseller who didn't research the brand. There you go. So that is another good thing is when people use your Poshmark code to sign up, I think they get $10 and you get $10 and then you can save that money to buy stuff. Um, so that helped her get the cost down of this item. And if you guys are not on Poshmark and you want to sign up, even if you don't want to sell and you just want to buy, my code's down there so you can get a $10 coupon. So um, it is a lime green lambskin leather in the orchard pattern from P-A-O-L-O. -O. 
Paolo, pa Paolo, Paolo, I don't know. Masi, M-A-S-I. A high-end Italian designer brand that often flies under the radar. Retailed for $600. She sold it for $125 with free shipping. So it's like a kiwi green, lime green. Wow. That's amazing. That's what it looks like, you guys. I would have had no idea. $4 at a yard sale sold for full price of $62 in just a couple days. And it is a Smurfs playset with the figures. And I have sold Smurfs before, so I know these can definitely be a bolo item. So if you see them, definitely look them up. A lot of times um, you can tell, get more information from the bottom of their feet. Uh, picked up at a garage sale for 25 cents, sold for $60. Now that's a nice return. Um, it is a lighter. It is a vintage Beechcraft Zippo lighter from the 1960s. So definitely Zippo, old Zippo lighters can definitely be a bolo. All right, this Pixar Zerg mask from Toy Story light up talking voice changer. So it is a kid's toy mask. Bought for $2.99 at a thrift store. Didn't know what it was or if it worked. Push button on the side and talks. Talk through the mask and you'll sound like a robot. Also lights up. Sold it on Poshmark for $65. I love it. I love these kind of bolos. It's like most people are going to walk right past it. All right. Nike. Sorry guys, I say Nike. I've said it, I've said Nike since I was a kid, so it's a hard habit to break. Nike, Maria Ser Sharapova, Sarapova. Ah, that's probably something I should know. Zoom Air. Vapor Speed. Tennis shoes. Found at a thrift store, brand new, in a Reebok box. Paid $10 and sold on eBay for $300. So they were in the wrong box. You got to love that. All right. Paid 25 cents for it at a garage sale. You guys are going to love this. On October 9th and sold for full asking price of $229 on October 16th. It is a stuffed animal and it's a play school stuffed animal. It's not even like one of those fancy ones. It's play school and typically... Some of those are just like really small bread and butter items, but this one is special. Um, it says Play School Snuzzles Blanky Lamb, um, 1986. Ah, love it. All right. Local thrift shop, 99 cents, sold for full price of $55.14. Sold within one month to a buyer in Russia. She said, if it's ugly, it sells. I think the colors are kind of pretty and it's a scarf and if you wrap it up, it's okay. I don't think it's ugly, but I know what she means. Ugly does sell. Uh, let's see the brand. Oh my, you guys, you guys are hurting me with these words. I think you guys look through your stores and are like, let's give her the hard words. Um, I don't know how to say it. I'll just spell it S-C-H-I-A-P-A-R-E-L-L-I. No clue. I'm not even going to try. Um, but it's a 22-inch square teal and purple scarf. $55.14. So nice return. Vintage camo jacket. Paid $8 at a thrift store and sold in one week on eBay for $425. I don't see a brand, guys, so I can't help you with that. But it's a vintage camo jacket and this is what it looks like. Unbelievable, right? Um, camo, great brand. Okay, so the person that wrote that is somebody different, and they spelled camo K A M O, so maybe that's the brand K A M O. And she says, I passed it by in the thrift store as they were getting ready to put it out and thought it looked interesting, so I bought it. Little did I know it would be such a profitable item. Yep, go with your gut sometimes, you guys. You just, you never know. Okay, so this next one is a designer ashtray from the Goodwill, paid $2.99, sold to Italy for $325. They said that they have another one listed. Um, so it says, I can't read. Oh boy, ashtray, 15 inch design, 
Holger Blackstrom, maybe. It's so small on my computer. I'm sorry. It kind of looks like a Lego in this picture. Don't you guys think it looks like a Lego? Um, I don't think it's a Lego. Okay. I actually shared this one for a member of the group. Um, I saw it in the feed and I messaged her and she couldn't find it in the announcement. So I went ahead and I'm sharing it for her. Um, she picked this up at the Goodwill for $3 and she started the auction at $600 and it sold for $1,000 and one penny. <laughs> How amazing is that? So it is a rare 18 inch Cosmopolitan 1938 Dorothy Judy Garland Wizard of Oz doll um, by Ideal Dolls. Amazing. I never, I mean, I probably maybe would have picked it up just because it's, it was $3, number one, and it's Wizard of Oz. So those would have been the reasons I would have picked it up. Never in a million years would I have thought that it was a thousand dollar doll. So definitely good information to know. The next one bought for $15 at the Goodwill and sold for full buy it now price of $89.99. It is a laser, uh, tiger laser tag, multiplayer uh, battle complete. So some sort of laser tag. Pretty cool, right? Anything new old stock or um, new in the box that's a toy, look it up, guys. Because um, especially with Christmas coming, get those items listed. Only paid $3 for this at Goodwill. Most of these wooden purses sell for $70 to $100. Um, it is a vintage Enid, E-N-I-D, Collins Glitter Bug Wooden Box Purse. Butterfly and Flowers. So $70 plus shipping. Now, the next one I pulled off of Instagram because I love Bolo items like this. And the gal that shared it, I just adore her. She has an amazing YouTube channel. If you guys are not watching Rachel Strickland on YouTube, please take a minute and go subscribe to her. She is fantastic. You will not regret it. She finds great items and her content is fabulous. Um, but anyway, this is not a big money bolo, but this is an unexpected bolo that you can find really easy and typically really cheap. So I'm like, I'm going to grab that and I'm going to share it. And, um, she said, I paid a few cents as I picked these up with about four, with about four times as many for a quarter from a guy who wondered why the heck I wanted them. They were little, literally in a drawer of a piece of furniture at a yard sale. I didn't want the furniture, just the pencils. I feel like a broken record when I tell you all to pick up made in America, pick up vintage, find quality and sell it. You can't get these on Wish. <laughs> so that's what she wrote on her Instagram post. So again, go check out Rachel Strickland. She's amazing. Her YouTube channel is her name, but it is all reseller content. These are eight vintage pencils, you guys, different brands. They're just old pencils. They're already sharpened. They're already used. Old pencils, $19, free shipping. Easy money, guys. Easy money. Got this at the Goodwill bins. I had initially tossed it back, then decided to check comps. Glad I did. It is a ambush. Ambush. A-M-B-U-S. S. A-M-B-U-S-H. Sorry, you guys. Blue hoodie sweatshirt. That's what it says. $199.99 for this sweatshirt. Maybe it's the um, what do you call them? The ties? They look like there's multiple ties. I don't know. Crazy, right? Multi-cord is what they're calling it. Huh? Okay, the next one paid $4.99 at the Goodwill, listed it for $149.99, free shipping, took a best offer of $130. It is a vintage Raiders NFL snapback hat. $130. Bucks. Okay, this one comes from Ron Barr, who is 360 Vintage Company, and I'm going to shout him out because he is the guy that got me on Mercari and Poshmark. I was like, no way, not doing it. I'm only selling on eBay. And he was like, kept sending me his sales on these other platforms. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll try it. And I manually cross-posted 3,000 items from eBay to Poshmark. Literally had to like screenshot all of my photos because I didn't have them still. And I did it the hard way because that was before List Perfectly was around. So when I found List Perfectly, it was like, ah. Anyway, you guys, if you're not using List Perfectly and you're manually cross-posting like I used to, 
please check out this video. Um, this is a list perfectly video. I show you how I cross post from eBay to Mercari and um, Poshmark. Those are my three main um, platforms. I do dabble in Facebook, Etsy, and um, Grailed. I always forget Grailed because I hardly have anything over there, but I have sold some stuff. It's definitely a platform if you sell a lot of vintage like hats and stuff like that. It's a great platform. I just, I've got too much going on. I don't have time to, even with a cross posting service, like three, maintaining three full time is a lot. Um, but anyway, so he talked me into it. I've also bought beautiful jewelry from him, um, that he makes out of silverware. I love silverware jewelry. Um, he made me some mermaid tails and you guys have heard me talk about it. If you've been on my channel a while, you've heard me talk about it. Um, but he's fantastic. So definitely go and check him out on Instagram and, um, check out his store. He's got great stuff, handmade stuff. But anyway, back to list perfectly. You guys, I've been using it since 2019. I love it just as much today as I did when I first signed up. It's amazing. They just keep adding more and more benefits and they don't change the price. Like you still get what you get. Like they just add more features and the price never changes. So far it hasn't. Um, but anyway, if you want to check it out, there's a demo video on my channel. There's actually one also that shows you how to get from eBay to Facebook. So if you guys are not selling on Facebook and that's something you're interested in, this is a great way to get your items over fast by bulk cross posting. Um, if you want to try it, you can use my coupon referral code, all one word, Bolo Buddies, and that'll get you 30% off your first month. So try it for a month. If I'll be shocked if you don't love it because I love it. It's amazing. Um, okay, so let's talk about what Ron sold. He picked this up for $4 at an auction and my husband would be like, oh, because my husband loves vintage watches. He um, collects. So he said, I didn't realize at the time the two pieces didn't go together. The movement itself was a chronograph pocket watch movement. Didn't even realize until after it started, get it started getting bids. It says vintage Hamilton pocket watch movement and parts. That was his title, you guys, with the photo. Um, people that collect are going to be looking at auctions. Actually, this wasn't even, was it an auction? Yeah, because it said until it started getting bids. It sold for $474.50 and the buyer paid shipping. So awesome sale. Again, that's, I believe it's 360 Vintage Company. 360 Vintage CO. I'll try to remember to pop up a screenshot of his Instagram. But beautiful handmade jewelry, you guys. He's amazing. And it's funny because I've known him for about, let's see, 2009, probably two and a half, three years. And I just know him through Facebook. Um, he reached out and we just communicate through there every once in a while. Um, but him talking me into getting on those other platforms is just like, I am so thankful for that. So whenever I have the opportunity to shout him out, I am like, I am shouting him out because he like has changed my world. Like I was like, no way, no way. Am I doing it? I'm not, I'm not cross posting. I don't want to do it. And now I'm just like selling stuff on all these other platforms and making all that extra money. So, okay. The next one is paid $7 and 50 cents at an estate sale, put it on an auction on eBay and had a bidding war and sold it for $431, you guys, plus shipping. Um, they are D-E-N-O-N, Denon, Denon, HDM 100, metal position type. Um, they're sealed cassettes. I believe they're blank cassettes. And blank cassettes range from bread and butter to big money. Apparently, these are a rare hard to find because, oh my goodness, um, $431. And there's 10 of them. That's it. That's amazing. Found this at an estate sale, paid $3, and it sold for $160 plus shipping. So it's this vintage, new old stock, iceberg history, rare Linus sweater, 2XL, and it looks really small. 2XL? Does that look like a 2XL? I'm like, is that like a kid's 2XL? Like a baby 2XL? Maybe they just have a really big hanger, but... I mean, do you guys know what I mean? Like the hanger is like going into the sleeves. Help me out with this one, you guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like, I'm so confused. Uh, maybe it shrunk, but it still sold for $160. So maybe, I, I don't know. 
maybe the person that um, posted it will message in the comments because I can't see the measurements or anything. Okay, the next one says purchased at a yard sale for 10 bucks plus have two action figures listed at $49.99. This is a vintage Ghostbusters ghost trap backpack with the gun and the accessories and it sold for $75 plus shipping. All right, the next one bought for $6 at the Goodwill, sold for full asking price in less than 48 hours. Whenever somebody says that it sold within a few days, I'm like paying attention because the quick sales are the best. The big money quick sales are even better. So this is a grip, looks like a backpack. Yep, and it says 16 disc storage. So maybe some sort of athletic backpack, 175 bucks on that one guys. From an estate sale near Chicago, paid a dollar, didn't think much of it at first until I got home and did some research. It is a very, very, very old book. And um, it says, Half Dime Library Bound. I don't know what that means. Deadwood. I'm not going to say that. You guys can read the title. I know it's probably a name, but I'm just not going to go there. Uh, so it's a book, you guys. It sold for $350. These old books, I mean, you got to look them all up. I am guilty of walking right past them because I don't want to do the research. But sometimes the research pays off. Okay, the speaker recorder paid $4 and it sold for $70. The advent calendar found at the bins was offered $80 and $100, declined, and sold at full asking price for $200. So it looks like it's a digital audio handy recorder. Looks like this. And then the other one is a um, Avon advent calendar. And I actually have one of these currently listed. So I would love to get 200. I don't even think I have mine listed. I think I'm trying to get 175 out of mine. And mine has the mouse. So even if it doesn't have the mouse, you can still sell them for big money. You can sell the mouse separately if you only have the mouse. There are actually people out there that make mice that look like the advent calendar and then people buy the reproductions to use in the calendar that they have bought that doesn't have a mouse. Pretty cool, right? Little fun fact. All right, got this at the bins for about a dollar, sold in less than a week for full asking price. Is this how people fall in love with ugly sweaters? Um, I'm going to say, yeah, she sold it for 55 bucks. I will pick up any ugly sweater if I can get $55 for it. It is a vintage Ocean Pacific. There's a name I haven't heard for a while. Uh, men's geometric sweater. So $55 free shipping. Bought this vintage polo nylon hat at the Goodwill uh, pound store, she called it. So the bins, I'm guessing that's what she's saying. Paid about 20 cents and it sold within five minutes, guys of listing for full price. Definitely left money on the table. So she probably did, um, but that's okay. That's how you learn. I told you guys my scream mask story in the other video that I just did. It happens, I mean, that's how we learn, but vintage Ralph Lauren, that's another one that if I've got it, I'm probably gonna auction it first just to feel out the market because there is a huge market for vintage Ralph Lauren. Um, I mean, huge. So. $200 is still a fantastic return on 20 cents, but if she had listed it at, on an auction, who knows how high it would have gone. So definitely consider that on vintage Ralph Lauren. The next one paid 50 cents at local honey hole, sold 20 minutes after listing. Okay, you guys, guess what? I have a bolo category video on Avon items to be on the lookout for. Yes, you're looking at me going, Avon, really? Yep, really. Some Avon is a big money bolo. Here is an example. This is a vintage Avon new old stock hairbrush. Yes, I said hairbrush. Um, $99.99. And I just love these types of bolos. Um, so if you guys don't know about what items that Avon sells to be on the lookout for, definitely go check out that video. Um, I actually just sold an item yesterday. It's a nativity set by Avon. It's called, um, there's two different types. This is the smaller one. It's not, it doesn't go for as much, but I didn't even have the complete set and it sold within, I think within a day for $56 plus shipping. It'll be in one of my future videos. Um, I wish I could remember what the actual like um, name of the 
set was, but I can't, so I apologize. But you can look up Avon Nativity. Um, there's bigger ones, and those can be a bolo also. So anytime, I look up all nativities, you guys. A lot of times they're a big money bolo, so just look them up. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. In the comments, leave me an emoji um, of your favorite bolo. No, I'm kidding. I don't know if you can, but you could probably do a brush if that was your favorite. Um, how about leave me an emoji of something you do, like a curling iron, a brush, um, a comb, a pick, something. Leave me a hair accessory, a bow emoji. All right, you guys, like I said, there's going to be three parts to this month's uh, video because I think there were over 120 people that shared. And again, I just couldn't narrow it down. So I'm just going to do all three videos. I'm going to see if three is too much. You guys let me know in the comments. Do you like them enough to have three of them or is just three too much? I don't know how it could be too much because you're getting so much information jam packed into one video. So look for part one and part two. Again, uh, I'm sorry, this is part two. Look for part one and part three. Um, if you're not subscribed to my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, it looks like that. Definitely go over there and subscribe. Make sure you have the bell turned on to both channels. And I may put end up in the future putting some of this content over there just to um, keep some variety on both channels. So I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. This is still kind of a new series for me, but I'm really loving it. So let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Please share out this video. Like, comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and share. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.